Hi everyone, and welcome to the Grade 6 Weather and Water FOSS Kit. Some of you might remember me from the Human Body Systems training videos. My name is Karen Zeminski, and I'm a 6th grade science teacher in the Boston Public Schools. In this short video, I will give you an overview of what to expect from this kit. First, it's important to note that if you're teaching both the human body systems and the weather and water kit, this teacher's guide is set up very different than the human body systems. This kit is divided up into a variety of sections and I'm gonna walk you through how to use them. Everything is pretty much laid out for you as far as um, a lesson, an entire script, the objectives and everything you need to know. While the title of this kit is Weather and Water, the fundamental skills that the students will learn and the foundational concepts they'll understand are far deeper than the title actually implies. The overarching topic for this kit is weather. This extends to include factors that affect weather such as seasons, air pressure, density, weather patterns, <clears throat> excuse me, and the three main types of heat transfer, which are very important, conduction, radiation, and convection. In the past, these forms of heat transfer have appeared on the eighth grade MCAS pretty regularly. The interesting hook for this kit comes with the ability to tie in global issues such as climate change and link this to weather that we're experiencing every day. The state standards addressed in this kit are physical science one, two, and three, as well as heat transfer, ES 4, 14, 3, 15, and 16, and technology is touched on as well in 2.2. FOSWeb, which is the online component to this kit, is a very helpful tool and it complements your in-class instruction with animations that the kids really enjoy and it kind of brings home the whole topic you're trying to teach. You can start by creating your own personal login. There's a short separate video that I've created to show you how to use the basic functions of, of FOSWeb as well, but you'll have to click on it separately. I want to also introduce you to the teacher's guide a bit so that it will be easy for you to understand the layout when you get to that point. If you'd like to follow along, that may be helpful as well. First, FOSS will start with an overview chapter and a table of contents to organize the overview. Within that overview, there's a lengthy section of background knowledge needed to teach this kit. It's actually very helpful and I suggest reading it. You can see from my picture that I actually take notes while I'm reading it and kind of list the important facts that the kids are going to need to know so that I can remember for my own personal education. This is followed by a page on various instructional techniques for teaching all students. So it gives you some quick and easy ideas you can imply, you can um, put into place in your classroom. There is an assessment section that will acquaint you with the FOSWeb assessments um, that are provided in the guide. They have both formal and informal assessments. And the materials. This kit contains three draws of materials, and there's a section that's devoted to helping you understand what is contained in each draw. Familiarizing yourself with this will actually help you set up the activities quicker and minimize um, time that you spend kind of digging around in the kit for things. However, this kit is smaller than the amount of materials you get with human body systems, so it's a bit easier to store as well. The next section <clears throat> is a short introduction based on how FOSS connects to the national standards, and this discusses the inquiry method of science and other skills that are going to be pertinent for the students to develop. Subsequent sections at the end of the teacher's guide will also provide any additional support that you need. There's a section for transparency masters, teacher masters um, that help you kind of manage your class data and answer sheets and answer guides for the assessments. There's also a section for teacher references and for materials and how they're actually used as well as how to mix the solutions and things you're going to be using. There's a section on using the CD-ROM also that we no longer use because that's what actually FOSWeb is, 
Um, it's just an upgraded version that you can log directly into. But the guide is still helpful because it helps you understand the animations that you're going to use. <clears throat> The Weather and Water Kit does an excellent job of breaking down and teaching the, fun, the foundation and the pertinent concepts for students to build on. And you'll see in the following videos that they're pretty engaging and easy to use in your classroom. Feel free to follow along in your teacher's guide. And don't forget to watch the separate video on how to use FOSWeb. Thanks for watching, and I am Karen Zeminski, Boston Public Schools.